Uh, hi, I'm John Cars, and uh, I'm the director of a project called Age of Sail. And this is a, a new VR short that is being done through the Spotlight Stories group at Google. Spotlight Stories is this great initiative of shorts projects that's been done in VR and on phones, multiple platforms for the last like six, seven, eight years now. And um, I'm really honored to be the next project that they're doing. I guess I traditionally came into VR pretty skeptically because I'm, I like to hold on to my ability to compose <laughs> and to cut and edit and um, you kind of have to throw all that stuff away as as a way of creating a world and an immersive world that, that a story can take place in i'm finding it's just tons of fun and having a great time um, because i'm able to use all these new techniques what i which i never had access to before basically you're making theater in the round you're making a play like a street play almost the, the character you are the character in. The audience is, is kind of immersed into a street play. And um, in my case, the play takes place on a boat. And it's that immersiveness of that water all around you, I think, that makes it a very unique place. Age of Sail is it's about this old washed up pilot, like a, a, a captain, like a, like a skipper of one of these uh, Bristol Channel pilot cutters, which their job was to take other pilots out to other ships and bring them back and forth through the harbor. So they're very busy guys and the boats that they sail are very, very fast and, and light and maneuverable. And um, the story is really about a guy whose his whole world has been displaced by new technology. So the age of steam has really made him obsolete. So he's kind of a washed up guy who's turned away from the world and he's out um, kind of sailing into nowhere and he picks up this girl that falls off of a steamship and he's kind of perplexed as to what to do with this new passenger and she's this feisty Victorian teenage girl that has to like basically convince this guy to return back to humanity and come back to the world again. In terms of creating a solid story and understanding how to create a story and the, the, the craftsmanship of storytelling. The breakthrough that I had was when you start watching movies more than once, the same movie, then you start to see like the mechanical goings on of like why that story works so well. The, the methods are exposed to you. You can disassemble that way and I think that's that understanding that technique and the craftsmanship from the inside out. You're gonna learn so much from that. Uh, in the same way like if you were to sit down and thumbnail, there's, there's a filmmaking prowess there that's just phenomenal. And it, even just the framing of the shots and the way that what, when, he, when he cuts from one thing to another to another to another, there's a very sophisticated technique all happening through there. And um, when you start storyboarding it yourself, you kind of like unpack it and you reverse engineer it and you can understand why those things are being done, why it works so well. And I think that that kind of self-instruction, for me, is probably the most effective way of learning about cinema.